Hey guys, I was recently helping a customer on our website, newhvacguide.com, and one of the things that they were mentioning is how the technician came to their house and they had their cell phone out. And that was one of their pet peeves that when they are on the clock for them at their home, that they should not be on their cell phone. And so I wanted to go through 10 reasons why you might see a technician on their cell phone for a good reason, not for bad reasons. I'm not talking about on their phone with their best friend and hobnobbing when they should be getting your air conditioning fixed in a timely manner. I think there are 10 reasons that you're going to see, especially as time moves on, newer technologies are coming out and you're going to see more and more times where technicians have either a smartphone or something that looks like a smartphone pulled out while they are working on your system. The comment that the homeowner actually made to me was, I should not have to pay top dollar for a technician who does not seem to know what they are doing. If they're having to pull out their phone and watch YouTube videos, for example. So let's dive into this, 10 reasons they might have their phone out. First is newer technologies. As time moves on, you're gonna see different brands coming out with their own technologies. And I have to say that I have had to pull my phone out when it comes to certain technologies, especially when we're talking about some of them involving manuals online and such. So I can tell you a lot of thermostats. I'll pull up my phone, look up the manual. Some thermostats, one in particular, Daikin's new Daikin One thermostat, they don't even give you a manual when you buy the thermostat. I think you might see more and more of that as well, where you just go to a certain website, all the manuals, all the information, troubleshooting, error codes, all that stuff is all located in one place. And I think you might see more and more of that as time goes on. Number Number two, some systems have Bluetooth technology. So I know of at least a few different systems that you can connect to it with Bluetooth from your phone or some other device. Some control boards, when you get it, before you can actually turn the system on, you install the board and then you have to connect it to your phone and program it that way. Depending on what the model of the system is, that board can maybe work across several different systems and you have to program that in via Bluetooth with your smartphone or some other technology. Number three, some tools are now capable of syncing to your phone. For example, I have some gauges that I connect to the refrigerant lines and I can connect to those with my phone. It will instantly give me measurements and some of the things that we used to have to manually do, it automatically does it for you. And I will have to pull out my phone to look at that at times. But I think you're gonna see even more, not just gauges, but there are all kinds of different tools that you're gonna be able to connect to. There are now air monitors that you can do a test in the home testing the air, seeing if there's anything harmful for the homeowner to be breathing, and you can connect that to your smartphone and be able to email it to the customer and so on. Number four, I can tell you that with our company, Griffin Air, 90% of our paperwork now that we used to write down and have to fill everything out. We used to use pen and paper or some sort of invoice. We now have all that through our cell phone. So sometimes we might pull it out, record some information. We might fill out their invoice while we're standing there. We might take a picture of something and save it into our system. We have a system that we use for all of that. We use it for clocking in and out with our guys, invoicing our customers, accepting payment with our customers and so on. And of course, scheduling. So it's possible that you might see a technician with their phone out just because they're filling out your invoice at that point in time. Number five, Five, a lot of systems, in addition to some of the things we already talked about, have firmware updates. So for example, if you have say a Wi-Fi thermostat in your house that's not being connected to Wi-Fi, then you might see a technician pull out their phone, set up what's called a hotspot Wi-Fi signal, and then have their thermostat or whatever they're working on connect to that so that at least for that point in time, that thermostat or piece of equipment can be updated if there's any updated firmware or softwares that need to be updated. You might see them pull out their cell phone from time to time, if nothing else, to have a hotspot for that piece of equipment. Number six, different brands have different ways of doing things. So in addition to all the new technologies coming out, it is possible that if it's a brand that maybe that technician's not used to or something like that, he may have to pull out his phone to go and see how that brand does it. Or maybe he has to go to their website and pull up their manual to see how they're doing it. Different brands will do different things, different ways. And also under the same brand, under the same banner sometimes, you'll see equipment that's done different ways that way. So just for 
example, a lot of mini splits, get just getting the cover off, different brands will do it different ways. So maybe that might be a reason they have their smartphone out. Number seven, we kind of already mentioned manuals. Sometimes I'll have my phone out to look up an error code, especially if it's a brand I'm not as familiar with. Some brands are not quite so open with their error codes. They don't list it in the troubleshooting manual. And sometimes it's just simply having to look up and see what that error code is that you're getting. As time goes on with these newer systems, they are self-diagnosing themselves at times. And depending on what sensor is stopping the signal or whatever's going on, it will give them a different error code and say, hey, here's what's going on. And you may have to look that error code up. Number eight, this one's probably one of the coolest ones. And that is some brands now have equipment that can be dialed into remotely. And before you get all scared about Big Brother spying on you, a lot of these brands have to have your approval in some way, shape, or form. So I can tell you that, say, for example, like with Daikin, if I have, say, a Daikin Fit and I have tech support on the phone and they want to see what I'm seeing, they want to see real time, what's going on, how's it running, they can dial into that system remotely. But you, as the owner of that thermostat that is already registered and turned it on and connected it to Wi-Fi, you have to go into your email and say, yep, it's okay for them to dial into that remotely. But aside from error codes and measurements and all of that, they can dial in there. And in some cases, some systems can give the contractor real-time problems and results. So they can be notified almost immediately that you have an issue, maybe even before you even know there's an issue. Number nine, I just touched on it. Maybe he's got his phone out to call tech support. And you might be saying, well, why do they got to call tech support? Shouldn't they know what they're doing? Shouldn't they know everything there is to know? I can tell you again, as time has gone on, I don't care how good a technician is. I don't care how long they've been doing this. There are times that they have to call tech support and one of those is my guys are trained at Griffin Air that even if they know the problem, even if they lay hands on that equipment, they know exactly what the problem is. Before they go ordering that part, they need to call tech support, let them know what's going on, get their blessing before they order it if it's under warranty. And the reason is so many brands these days are looking for a reason not to honor their warranty. They're constantly looking for ways to get something over on someone. Not all brands, but some particular brands especially are trying to get something over on someone. And so as long as you get their blessing, you talk to their tech support and get their blessing before you order that part, it will sometimes cover you and make things go by a little more smoothly. Finally, number 10, he may have his smartphone out just because God forbid he is watching a YouTube video just to see one thing or another. Again, I don't care how good they are. No tech knows everything. And it's usually Usually those techs that do think they know everything that I'll usually find no even less. So I would not be worried if you're a homeowner and you see a technician pull out their phone for one reason or another, just realize maybe they're just doing their job. They're not trying to get one over on you and waste time and beat the clock. They may actually be trying to speed things along and that's why they have their phone out. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.